Welcome to Academic Web Services Training. I am your host, David Pinter. And in this session, what we're going to be talking about is importing typography or fonts into Calibre. Now, the reason why we would do this is because sometimes some fonts do not convert and then add into this folder over here on the left side. And sometimes they do, as you can see here. But also sometimes we may want to change a font. We're looking at our layout, our design, and we want to change this particular font with something new. So let me show you how that's done. So what I want to do is I want to, uh, I'm looking at this particular authors in this book, and you notice that the word itself is too evenly spaced between the two paragraphs. I'd like to get the font a little bit larger, and I would also like to have it closer to the paragraph in question. So let me show you how this is done. I'm going to come up here to File and come straight down to Import Files into Book. Now, what we're going to have here is we're going to have a folder and it's showing you that there's four fonts available. Well, this, these fonts are all of the same family. We could import all of them, but in this case, we're just going to be using this Garamond Pro bold italic. So I'm going to just select that one there. And then I'm going to just open that. Now, a couple things happened. You saw, saw this prompt that popped up. And also, off to the left side, you see that the Garamond Pro bold italic font has been imported into the fonts folder. Now, keep in mind that when you're importing fonts, that you import only OTF and TTF fonts. Those are the ones that Calibre will recognize in most EPUB readers. Now, this prompt that popped up is also letting us know that there's a certain code that got copied onto the clipboard, and we're going to have to paste that into our style sheet.css. So I'm going to just hit OK, and I'm going to come over here to the style sheet, go all the way to the very top, and I'm going to hit return once and then move the cursor up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just simply just paste in that code that was on the clipboard. So there it is. It's telling you what font it was, and it even gives you the properties that you want to be able to paste into your exact block or location to where that these authors' names were located. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to select this right here, this information, these properties. I'm going to copy that to the clipboard, and now I'm going to go find out exactly where these are located. So when I select one of them, it's telling me that it is a block number five. So I'm going to go back to my style sheet here and then scroll down to block five. And sure enough, it's, it's lacking property. So I want to basically load those in. Since we already have a bold one in there, the weight, I'm just going to just select that right there. And I'm going to go edit, paste. I'm going to paste that in like this. And now we have those in. So as you can see, the font on the page has changed. So here it is, but we actually want to make it a little bit larger. Now, since this particular block five did not have a font size associated with it, we can use uh, one from another one and then change it. So right above here in block four, I'm just going to just grab this font size coding here. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to paste it in. And then you're going to notice the size font's going to change on the right side. And that's a little big. I want to bring that down to probably a 1.1 EM, and that probably will be the right size. Now, the other thing that we've noticed is that the font is still centered within the two paragraphs. So I want to be able to bring this down a little bit further, make it closer to the paragraph in question. So in doing that, that has to do with the margin. Now, you want to have the margin have four different properties to them. So what I want to do is I want to come over here and I want to add a zero point property. So now what we have here is we have six points from the top. We have a zero point from the right side. And we can, if zero is good, we, but we can still add in a PT if you'd like. Okay. So we have six to top. The right is zero. The bottom is 10 and the left side is zero. So the problem is, is that it looks like the third one, the bottom of this, is the one we want to change. So if I change that just right now to zero, let's see if it makes any changes. It did a little bit, it closed it up, but we actually want to get a little bit closer than that. So what we're going to have to do is probably put in a negative number 
that's less than zero, so it'll get closer, even closer to this paragraph. So let me just type in a negative five point, and we'll, let's, let's see where that brings us. Hey, that looks pretty good. And also, at the top of the particular name, there's a little bit too close, so I'm going to just probably add in some space there. I'm going to go 26 points, and we'll see what that does. Okay. Well, it, look, it looks good. It's probably a little bit too far away, so I'm going to just change this to a 20, and we'll see what that does. And that looks good. So now the actual author's names, they look closer to the paragraph as if they go with each paragraph instead of being centered in the middle. And it, we give it, we've given it a little bit extra space above to make the font look good. So there you go, adding fonts into Calibri.